You might have seen my last video with steak where things really didn't go that well. Well, today I'm going to show you a different way that actually worked a lot better. You're watching Mike Tavala and me. Let's get cooking. First, I'm going to preheat the oven as hot as it can get with the rack in the middle position. This should help the outside of the steak cook quickly while the inside stays nice and moist. It's really important to have the outside of the steak dry, so here I'm just gonna dry it off with a paper towel. I'm gonna cut it in half too so that we can try two different ways of cooking. I'm gonna generously salt both sides because it helps keep the steak tender and salt's amazing. And then you can see I'm gonna put it on the tray and half of the steak will be directly on the tray with the other half on a little wire rack to let the drippings fall down. Once that tray is also preheated, just gonna throw them on. Sizzle. We're gonna broil the first side for four minutes on high. It's looking pretty good and it's not popping nearly as much as the last one was, even at this point. After four minutes, I'm gonna pull it out, flip it, and then we're gonna broil the other side for four minutes too. I also added a temperature probe so that I could watch the doneness of the steak a little bit more closely. My steak's actually done before the four minutes were up, so I'm gonna pull it out now. And I'm gonna let it rest for a couple minutes. This keeps the juices inside the steak and it'll let the temperature kind of rise a little bit more. You can see it actually does look pretty good and there doesn't really seem to be a noticeable difference between the two samples. All right, let's cut them open, see how they look on the inside. Oh, pretty good. Yeah, that's about what I expected. A little more done than I would have liked, but it looks pretty nice. Let's try the other one to see if it's any different. Uh, nope. All right, so it looks like it would work either way. So what did I learn? Well, the only real difference here was that I used a cut of steak that wasn't nearly as fatty as a ribeye. That actually seemed to make all the difference in the world. I think this is gonna be pretty delicious. Oh, and it didn't seem to make a difference at all between having the steak raised up off of the tray or cooking directly on it. Now let's turn this into a dinner. I'm gonna make some guacamole. The big twist here is I'm gonna add just a little bit of cucumber to really make it seem fresh. I'll make a plate with some beans, a little bit of cheese, the steak and that guacamole and it's time to eat. Thanks for watching and check out this other video to see why you probably shouldn't try to cook a ribeye in your tomorrow.